Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel for a long, long overdue review. This is a review many of you have been asking for for a good while now, but it's Nathan who gets credit for finally making it happen because he's using his Patreon video request for a Sonic the Hedgehog review. I will have a review of the sequel for you too, but this video right here is dedicated to my thoughts on the 2020 film, and I'm gonna treat this like a regular review here, and I'm gonna give you a little synopsis just in case anyone out there has not seen the first movie. Of course, it is inspired by the iconic Sega video game, and the movie shows us how a young, super-fast hedgehog named Sonic is hunted for his power, so must flee to Earth. Initially, Sonic does a pretty good job of keeping to himself and hiding out, but then he's discovered by James Marsden's character, Tom, who then feels obligated to help Sonic outrun Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik. I wish I could sit here and ask you all, why didn't anyone tell me this movie was such a delight? But there is no one to blame but myself. You all did tell me that, and it just took me way, way too long to listen. But even after seeing the film for myself, I still kind of can't believe the movie is as good as it is. I'm not really a fan of making such broad generalizations like this, but I do find that I tend to be disappointed in live action animation hybrids where an animated character is plopped into the real world. I often find that visually they don't pair well enough together and rarely do those movies have a strong story to encourage me to either overlook that or just make me believe in it. But Sonic actually works and it works on every single level. I dug the story and also the design work, which again is surprising because of course I very much remember all that backlash when Sonic's original design was first revealed and it just did not look right. But hey, it looks like all that extra money they poured into the redesign was very well spent because Sonic looks great. And then on top of that, the team also found the absolute perfect actor to voice the character in Ben Schwartz. So we've got a great Sonic there. And then on top of that, the movie script is actually pretty good. I really loved the, the fish out of water vibes of the film with Sonic learning more about Earth life every step of the way. And not only was that super charming, but so was what I would call the heart of the movie. And it's the relationship between Sonic and Tom. I do think a lot of the success in that department is due to strong script work. Sonic spying on the Donut Lord at the start was such a, a smart place to kick it all off. And then having them actually meet and then watching their relationship blossom was just such a heartwarming path to follow. And then I was also really impressed by how it wasn't just surface level sentiments there. Sonic needing a home and, and Tom needing to discover what he values in a home pair quite well together. And then also toss in the fact that their nemesis in the movie is a guy who doesn't value home and human connection whatsoever, just world domination and robots. Those are all threads that come together really well and significantly strengthen one of the core themes of the movie. So clearly here, I think the team is working with a very solid script, but it always seems to me like pulling off an out of this world live action CG hybrid scenario like this just has to be an immense challenge for the onset actors. And James Marsden and Jim Carrey are just so, so good at selling it. Jim Carrey and the role of Dr. Robotnik are just another pitch perfect pairing here. He is able to go so big and be so ridiculous, but it feels right. And I also still really believed that he was an evil genius that posed a real threat to Tom and Sonic. And then just huge, huge round of applause to Marsden for selling Tom's connection with Sonic so exceptionally well. Again, I do think they landed in a good spot with the effects here, but even the best effects in the world won't work unless you have a live action actor who can make you believe that he's got a strong and real connection with a creature largely created in post. There just isn't a false note in Marsden's performance. He nails it, and that makes the payoff in the end with the attic reveal just so incredibly effective and well-earned. Another thing they do especially well in this movie that admittedly surprised me a good deal is, is the humor. And 
I say it surprised me because, honestly, I expected more failed jokes. And you know what, even if there were more failed jokes, I still think that the movie would have played pretty well, mainly because of how strong its heart is, the pace is solid, and it looks really good. But the thing is, a lot of the humor in this movie is actually quite funny. And it's done in a fun for the whole family kind of way. There's a lot of jokes in there that I've got to imagine that, yeah, kids can enjoy now, but they are going to find new meaning in some of those jokes as they get older. Uh, oh, one more thing that I really wanted to point out. I loved the added touch that Sonic is a big movie fan. It's just yet another layer to that character, to his relationship with Tom, and to the film overall that I really dug. All right, time to score Sonic the Hedgehog. I am giving this movie four Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimal Movie Scale. I loved it. I watched it right before going into my screening of the sequel, and it just sent me out the door with so much enthusiasm. And do not worry, I am not going to leave you hanging there. Next up on this channel is a review of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so stay tuned for that. And again, I must give a big thanks to Nathan, one, for supporting this channel, which I love dearly, but also for finally getting me to watch Sonic, because... Clearly, I am very happy that I did. Big thanks to everybody out there watching this video. Like and share it before you leave. And don't forget, keep an eye on the channel. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 review coming up next.